Uh, ironically, just earlier today, I was arguing with some leftists about the Rittenhouse acquittal, who still have some very delusional takes about that. And of course, one of them brought up the old propaganda lie that I've done multiple videos on this channel that claims that the majority of domestic terrorism in the United States is right wing. That is, of course, a complete and utter lie. The overwhelming majority of domestic terrorism, as well as the overwhelming majority of gun violence and the overwhelming majority of spree shooters in the United States are all left wing and not white. Now... I am on the record for the past five years in stating that Black Lives Matter is a domestic terrorism organization, and here we have yet another Black Lives Matter terrorism uh, attack, and this is one of the worst yet, at least one of the worst that doesn't involve directly targeting police officers. In Wis Wakusha, if I'm saying that right, Wisconsin, a town called uh, Wakusha, Wisconsin, Obviously, somebody disgruntled about the Rittenhouse shooting where Kyle Rittenhouse, a uh, white uh, innocent person, defended himself against three uh, Jewish terrorists, <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Um, but clearly, I've also noticed in arguing with a bunch of leftists about this case that a bunch of them are still under the presumption that Kyle Rittenhouse attacked black people. In fact, there's still news reporters making that claim somehow. And uh, perhaps that might have motivated a Mr. Daryl Brooks Jr. Daryl Brooks Jr. drove a SUV into a crowd of uh, people in a holiday parade. Uh, he's, as far as initial reports are, as of tonight, he killed five people and injured 40. And most of the casualties of his attack are children. Now... Daryl Brooks is a multiple felon with charges uh, related to the statutory seduction of minors, domestic abuse, drug charges, illegal possession of gun, uh, jumping bail, resisting arrest, the typical stuff of your average Black Lives Matter supporter. Yes, and he is a black person. Um, has just happened. Dude. And it's just so fucked up that people think this is okay. And of course, there is... No shortage of uh, Twitter check marks and, and uh, lefties who are saying, oh, uh, obviously Daryl Brooks acted in self defense. You're just allowed to kill people now. How somebody who defends themselves against an unprovoked attack from multiple people is anything the same as a terrorist slamming his vehicle into a crowd of civilians is anyone's best guess. But if you wonder why I say that all progressives are completely fucking evil, this is why. It also should be noted that uh, many of the tweets I've been reading that have been saying the uh, tweets along the lines of, oh, you're just allowed to kill people. Uh, murder's legal in Wisconsin. Just attacking crowds of people is okay in Wisconsin. A, a lot of them are people of the same ethno-religious persuasion as Gage Grosskreutz and Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber and District Attorney Banger and Jerry Nadler. I didn't mention this when I last talked about uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. The Senator Jerry Nadler, who is the Penguin, and again, of the same ethno-religious affiliation, is, is trying to urge the DOJ to uh, find a way to press federal charges, perhaps federal terrorism charges against Kyle Rittenhouse, of course not wanting this situation to be over. And people like this are, of course, the reason why jury pools keep getting poisoned. You know, President Biden himself lied about uh, Kyle Rittenhouse on multiple occasions, calling him a white supremacist terrorist, neither of which are true. Um, keep in mind that one of the major factors of the Kyle Rittenhouse case is that, that um, the FBI wanted to look at his phone for evidence of affiliation with right-wing terrorist organizations, and the Kyle Rittenhouse defense team uh, willingly surrendered Kyle Rittenhouse's cell phone to them, uh, and they found no evidence which the prosecution could use against him on that entire phone. Uh, the kid remains innocent, and of course the left wing would rather defend literal child rapists, serial domestic abusers, drug addicts, um, and felons in illegal possession of firearm over innocent people. If you call yourself a centrist, let me tell you something you may not know about yourself. You're a piece of shit. 
we have gotten to the point where I, when discussing politics with people, repeatedly run into people saying I am the same as progressives and communists and leftists uh, just because I am angry at progressives and communists and leftists for being progressives and communists and leftists and am disgusted by the result of their political ideology and the things they're doing and plan to do to this country. That because I find them disgusting and loathsome and inhumane monsters, I am as bad as them. What a centrist is, is a spineless, soulless coward who thinks that having no position at all, having no virtues, no morals, no convictions, and no affiliation to anything means that they're better than me and better than progressives. They're better than any right-wing person of whatever right-wing persuasion, and they're better than all the leftists. And they just get to walk in and say, I'm better than everyone. And anyone else here who is either somewhat politically um, uninitiated and uninvolved is, is better than the people who are actually invested in the issue. No. I have more respect for psychopathic leftists than I have any respect whatsoever for centrists. Because centrists are fucking cowards. At least psychopathic demonic leftists serve a purpose. They are an example of what not to be, and they are the face of the enemy. Centrists serve no purpose. They have no value. Their opinions don't matter. They only serve to try to suppress conversation and argument and try to shame people for exercising their free speech about these topics. If you're a centrist, you are a piece of shit. You are a coward. You are a fucking pussy, and you need to pick a side. And you, your stock as an individual with a voice will increase, in my opinion, if you become some Black Lives Matter supporting fucking Trotskyist. Seriously. I hate centrists, and nobody should like you at all. But I don't mean to harp on that. But what I do mean to harp on is the kind of people who think that driving a, a fucking car and running over and mangling children on a fucking street is acceptable because they didn't get their way. Because, oh, some organization didn't get sucked off and, and some uh, judge enforced the law fairly instead of being one of these leftist judges that I've been talking about that are subverting the rule of law. In fact, some of my most popular and most viewed channels over the past six months are, are videos I've had about where I do not believe the court of, uh, excuse me, the rule of law is legitimate in the United States. The law is not applied evenly. There are many, 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 many people who do not get prosecuted the way they should be. In fact, Daryl Brooks Jr., the person who killed five and injured 40 as of the current death total in Wakusha, uh, Wisconsin, was on bail for yet more charges. And, of course, the bail he posted was $1,000. Remember, there was a school shooter who shot and killed one classmate and injured, I think, two others and injured a teacher, posted $25,000 bail. And Kyle Rittenhouse posted $2 million bail. That's a thousand times more. I shouldn't have to say anything else. Our country is very sick, and that disease is progressivism. And I'm looking forward to Kyle Rittenhouse suing many more organizations uh, for their defamation against him, and, of course... Hilariously, many of these organizations that defamed Kyle Rittenhouse are the same organizations that had the absolute pants suit off them by Nick Sandman several years ago. The reason why I can say without a doubt that leftists aren't just stupid, but they're evil, is many of these news organizations that don't make anywhere near as much money as they used to. 
The news market is so saturated. Independent journalism has basically just ripped the fucking rug out from under the legacy media currently and the mainstream media. That these people aren't making tons of money, but they will surrender tons of profits. They'll lay off people. They'll fucking get willingly sued just to defame people, just to lie, just to try to cause sadistic and violent harm and to encourage terrorists like Daryl Brooks. That's the country we live in. So when President Donald Trump said that the legacy media, the mainstream media, is the enemy of the American people, he was telling an objective fact. We wouldn't have quite the problem that we're having with progressives if the media wasn't completely complicit in shielding them, lying about them, lying about which organizations are abusing and molesting children, and which people are guilty of which crime statistics, while they blow police brutality completely out of proportion while doing everything they can to hide that Black Lives Matter is responsible for $2.4 billion in damages and over 50 deaths in 2020 alone. But of course, because James Fields accidentally hit somebody during another left-wing riot in, um, I believe that was Charlottesville, uh, Virginia, that uh, they're better than us because one of us killed somebody. Well, you guys have killed dozens of people. And of course, the uh, I've done a video of this on, uh, before, but I'll just do the Cliff Notes version of that before I close this video out. The claims that left uh, uh, right-wing terrorists uh, are the majority of terrorists include any school shooter who is white, uh, anybody who commits any kind of gun crime whatsoever in a school zone uh, is also lumped in with said school shooters, meaning that the school shooter statistics that they use are themselves fraudulent and inflated, and they're using those fraudulent and inflated numbers in an a fraudulent and inflated way. Any incel who kills his girlfriend, like your average Elliot Roger, is, quote, right-wing. Uh, anybody who is arrested for assault during a riot, um, a left-wing riot who is not of a left-wing persuasion is considered a right-wing domestic terrorist in these statistics. Now, do you think anybody is considering Daryl Brooks a left-wing terrorism um, uh, person? Now, keep in mind, guess how many shooters we've had, how many spree shooters how many mass murderers that we've had that, of course, have tons of posts expressing affiliation with Black Lives Matter and other left-wing organizations that somehow aren't counted as a member of those organizations. How we always just say Black Lives Matter isn't an organization, it's an idea, even though it's a, uh, what's it called, a 501c nonprofit organization that, of course, actually has collected billions in donations and contributed less than 1% of it to any given black community. Guess what? Every time you donate to somebody like Black Lives Matter, they use it to push themselves further into the media to spread more lies and then pocket the rest of that money to buy multi-million dollar mansions in rich white neighborhoods in California. That's what Black Lives Matter is. It's a scam and it is literally a, ter a murderous terrorist or, uh, organization that promotes this kind of homicide. And, and as well as, you know, arson, felony assault, intimidation. Um, Black Lives Matter, of course, tried to intimidate jurors and witnesses in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, and I could go on and on and on and on. If you support Black Lives Matter, you're a scumbag. And it's not because, oh, black people deserve police brutality or any other kind of abuse. No has nothing to do with that. That's a lie. When Black Lives Matter claims that it's a response to police brutality, that is a lie. It is a communist paramilitary organization, same as Antifa. And its goal and what it does in practice, besides pocketing money from stupid rubes, is killing and hurting people. So, anytime that you criticize Black Lives Matter and somebody calls you a racist, that's just another progressive lie. Because when 
they say Black Lives Matter is is supportive protecting the right of black people to have their rights respected and to live without being harmed. That's also a lie. All progressives ever do is lie 100% of the time without exception. They tell the truth about nothing and actively and maliciously lie about everything. There's not a single thing that progressives say that is ever true. There's not a single part of their political platform that will help anybody, including themselves, their only goal is violent sadism and terrorism, and this will continue until people get the picture. We've been doing this for seven years now. I'm a little bit fucking sick of it. And unfortunately, voting doesn't help. The only thing that helps is no matter how much the media wants to censor you and to turn the, the entire internet into an apartheid of, of a state of polarized far left and far right uh, political leanings, I don't care. You have a responsibility to speak out. Believe it or not, what matters more than your voice as far as a vote is your voice as far as communication on social media and amongst your peers in your real life. Now... In real life, I would stress being very careful in how you talk and who you talk to about what subjects. I actually generally don't endorse discussing politics with friends and family. I think it's unhealthy and counterproductive for a family unit. But amongst your peers in society, you should be letting people know all the time who the real bad guys are, who the scumbag, terrorist, racist murderers are, and that is the left, period. And no, me saying that about them and me using any measure of hyperbole or not when discussing the fact that all leftists are demonic, sadis sadistic, violent terrorists does not make me the same as them. Because here's the thing, if I'm saying similar things about the left wing as that they say about the right wing, that doesn't mean that I'm the same as them because they are lying and I am telling statistical verified objective facts about them, which makes me right and them wrong and centrists full of fucking shit, okay? And I'm sick of having to repeat this. I'm sorry to people who've heard me say most of this video before, but it bears repeating, doesn't it?